Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? Yo, this is Mr. Skinny, and I'm back with another video for you guys, man. Let them guns go, uh... Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yo, I found this here on a dude with a green beards page. But... Before we get into this here video, man, yo, salute to all my new subscribers, man. We on the way to 34K, man. 34K, can you believe that? 34K, probably get there by the end of this here week, but salute to y'all. But make sure, like right up under my picture says, hit that subscribe button and make sure all y'all notifications are turned on so you're notified when the littest, and I mean littest chat on YouTube goes live. That's right, the skinny, naughty. And happy Memorial Day to everybody today. We are giving away $1,000 cash on the channel. But you have to have all your notifications turned on, and you have to be a member. So hit that join button. If you're already a subscriber, that's cool. But all the giveaways go to members. So hit that membership down below. You feel me? Now, with all that out the way, man, if you got a beard, or know somebody who does, like this guy behind me, go to... Mr. Skinny dot hey, 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 for all your beard needs. That's right, and we got the best product on the market, Skinny Gang Beard Juice. That's right, Skinny Gang Beard Juice. You feel me? Beard Juice. Go there, man, because I'm nothing without the gang, and it's currently on sale. So go to MrSkinny.net and check it out. We got some new products coming up. For the summertime, so definitely you want to go to that website and check that out. Now, with all that out the way, let's get into this here video, man. Yo, the downfall of Mr. Organic, part two. Now, this here is not a diss video. This here is just a real video, man. And we have to um, pinpoint the downfall of this man. So it doesn't happen to us, and maybe he can learn from his mistakes and maybe he can right his wrongs. Now, as we left off on part one, his downfall was he was never ever the star. His partner, Tall Guy Reviews, was the star. He was the sidekick. He would want y'all to believe that he was Batman when really he was Robin. Or he would want y'all to believe that Tall Guy was Superman and he was Batman. Not the case. Tall guy was Michael Jordan, and he was Scottie Pippen. It's not bad being Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen got six championships being the sidekick of Michael Jordan. But, like Mr. Organic said in the beginning, he wanted the channel to be Tall Guy's reviews. And he just wanted to ride, basically, with Tall Guy. But, Tall Guy told him to start his own channel. Tall guy shouted him out on every video. Go subscribe to Mr. Organic, all this. So, basically, Mr. Organic became a prisoner in his own character. Think of it like a wrestler, The Undertaker. You never really seen The Undertaker out without his Undertaker costume on. Mr. Organic kept digging himself into a bigger hole. He was reviewing cars. Then he wanted to be, I guess, a YouTube personality himself. He started off um, basically bragging about going downtown Minnesota and picking up drunk white women that white men wouldn't even cast a second eye at. That's how bad it was. But at the same time, he was funny. So he had people, you know, laughing at his jokes. But in all reality, he never was a ladies' man. He got a Corvette. He got a dope rap put on it. I got to give him that. But he never was really honest with his people. And you will never, ever, ever succeed when you build something on dishonesty. He had people believe that he hustled hard to get everything he got that he owned everything he got, when in all actuality, that was a lie. See, people don't realize that me and Mr. Organic go way back. I actually knew Mr. Organic. 
Mr. Organic actually told me things on how he was doing his YouTube channel. Mr. Organic likes to tell the story of he walked off the street into a D-League tryout and made the D-League team for the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's partially true. But the only reason he got the invite was because of his brother. Now, if you don't know who Mr. Organic's brother is, Mr. Organic's brother is a star basketball player overseas. So, what does Mr. Organic's brother do? As all good brothers do when they make it, they want to see their family do better. So, Mr. Organic tells his brother that he's doing this here YouTube thing and he needs him to finance it. So his brother finances it. That's right, his brother finances it. Everything you see Mr. Organic doing is not on his own dime. He says that he wears his own clothes, he has his own brand, but as you see behind me, he's wearing bootleg fake Versace clothes. His jewelry is hollow, the diamonds are fake, the diamonds are made out of meteors, and um, basically, Mr. Organic is just a walking scam. I like to call him Mr. Fake It Till You Make It. That's the name I gave him, Mr. Fake It Till You Make It. Because, as we'll get into part three, not only is he faking his lifestyle, his merch, his merchandise is made of the lowest quality merchandise that you can find. I recommend that you watch Ice Cream Vlogs channel, and Ice Cream Vlogs will basically break down his merchandise, um, where he gets it from, which is China, which is for the low. He basically pays $3 per bag and charges his people over $1,000. He's got beard oil. He charges $100 a bottle. He started sipping the organic juice. See, this organic that you see right here? Nah, man. That's um, years and years of character pile on. His beard didn't used to be green. It used to be black. Like, this here is what you're looking at. It's a character, people. This here is Jarvis. Jarvis Rivers. Jarvis Rivers. He claimed that he was in the cartel, that he was a coyote. He wasn't. This man was a scammer. This man wrote bad checks. That's what he did. Check his record. He wrote bad checks. And he's still scamming his people to this here day. So part two, what I want y'all to get out of this video is his destruction came from dishonesty. And we're going to break down in the next video how him and the beautiful Danielle Champion was never, ever intimate. That was never, ever his girlfriend. He was just a woman that he paid. It was a pandemic. Tall guy had a real wife, a real woman, a real black queen. And Mr. Fake It Till You Make It wanted to copy his friend. As you can see, tall guy moved across from the Staples Center, now known as the Crypto Arena. What did uh, Mr. Fake It Till You Make It do? Moved across the street from the Staples Center. Tall guy got a girlfriend. He bought a girlfriend. Tall guy takes possession of a car. He takes possession of a car. So we're going to get into these here cars, how he gets them. We're going to get into these here crypto um, pump and dump schemes that he's into. Guess he didn't learn from Floyd Mayweather and Paul Pierce and Kim Kardashian. And we're going to also get into his fallout with Cali Muscle.
and uh, CJ on 32s. Basically the same story that happened between me and him. But that's about it on part two, guys. Let them guns go. Uh, Did you find this? Yo, I found this here on a Green Beard Peddler's page. Thanks for your time. Time is one thing you can't get back, and you chose to spend it watching this video. Yee, yee, yee. Hit that subscribe button, y'all.